He is known for being one of the most important Christian theological ethicists in 20th century America. He is recognized for his influential books, including, Christ and Culture, and, The Responsible Self. He is H. Richard Niebuhr, a prominent figure in the field of philosophy and theology. In the realm of Christian theological ethics in 20th century America, one name stands out as a luminary figure, H. Richard Niebuhr. Born into a family of theologians, Niebuhr's influence on the field cannot be overstated. He gained widespread recognition for his seminal work, Christ and Culture, published in 1951, and his posthumously released book, The Responsible Self. Niebuhr's impact extended far beyond his written works. For several decades, he dedicated himself to teaching at the esteemed Yale Divinity School, where he left an indelible mark on countless students. Alongside his brother, Reinhold Niebuhr, Richard became a prominent figure in the neo-Orthodox theological movement that swept through American Protestantism in their era. It is within this context that Niebuhr's philosophy emerged as a cornerstone of post-liberal theology, earning him the distinction of being associated with the Yale School. His teachings resonated with a generation of scholars, including notable figures such as James Gustafson, Stanley Hauerwas, and Gordon Kaufman, who were inspired by his profound insights and ethical framework. Niebuhr's legacy continues to shape the discourse of Christian ethics, leaving an enduring impact on theological scholarship for years to come. H. Richard Niebuhr, a renowned theologian and philosopher, dedicated his life to exploring the complexities of divinity and morality. Born on September 3, 1894, in Wright City, Missouri, Niebuhr was raised in a family deeply rooted in religious traditions. His father, Gustav Niebuhr, was a minister in the Evangelical Synod of North America, shaping young Richard's understanding of faith from an early age. After completing his education at Elmhurst College and Eden Theological Seminary, Niebuhr delved into the world of journalism, working as a reporter in Lincoln, Illinois. However, his true calling lay in the ministry, and he was ordained as a minister in the Evangelical Synod in 1916. Throughout his career, Niebuhr served various congregations and taught at institutions like Eden Theological Seminary in Elmhurst College. It was at Yale University where Niebuhr's intellectual prowess truly flourished. He earned his Doctor of Philosophy degree in 1924 and became a prominent figure in the field of theology and Christian ethics. Niebuhr's teachings at Yale from 1931 to 1962 left an indelible mark on generations of students, as he sought to unravel the complex relationship between divinity, morality, and human existence. Throughout his journey, Niebuhr grappled with the challenges of his time. He witnessed the rise of secularization and the erosion of traditional religious beliefs. In the face of these changes, Niebuhr recognized the dangers of nihilism, a philosophy that denies any objective meaning or value in life. He believed that nihilism led to a turning away from life itself, creating a void of purpose and a sense of despair. Niebuhr's philosophy went beyond mere critique, offering a path forward for individuals and society alike. He emphasized the need to overcome nihilism and find new foundations for meaning and morality. Niebuhr's teachings resonated with many, as they sought to navigate the complexities of modern life and find a sense of purpose amidst the chaos. As H. Richard Niebuhr once said, the ultimate test of a moral society is the kind of world that it leaves to its children. His ideas continue to provide valuable insights into how we can grapple with the challenges of our daily lives. In a world increasingly characterized by uncertainty and moral dilemmas, Niebuhr's philosophy offers a guiding light, reminding us of the importance of seeking meaning, embracing responsibility, and nurturing a moral society. H. Richard Niebuhr's philosophy centered around the absolute sovereignty of God and the issue of historical relativism. He was greatly influenced by theologians such as Karl Barth and Ernst Troeltsch. From Barth and Neo-Orthodoxy, Niebuhr embraced the idea of the absolute transcendence of God. He believed that God is above history, issuing commands to humanity, with all of history under God's control. Niebuhr often drew from Paul Tillich's understanding of God, describing God as being itself, the one, or the ground of being. In this way, he found a middle ground between Barth's dialectical theology and Tillich's modified liberalism. Niebuhr also grappled with historical relativism, recognizing that while God is absolute and transcendent, human beings are not. Humans are part of the ever-changing world, and thus our understanding of God is never fixed. Different people in different times and social contexts perceive God differently. Niebuhr's theology acknowledged and respected the diverse expressions of faith across religious communities. His thinking anticipated concerns about pluralism and tolerance in liberal Protestantism. However, he did criticize the liberal social gospel in his work, The Kingdom of God in America, stating that it presented, a God without wrath brought men without sin into a kingdom without judgment through the ministrations of a Christ without a cross. 
As a Christian ethicist, Niebuhr's primary focus was on how human beings relate to God, to one another, to their communities, and to the world. His theological ethics can be characterized as relational. In his influential work, The Responsible Self, Niebuhr explored the concept of humans as responsive agents. He emphasized that humans are always, in response, to various influences, including other people, communities, the natural order, history, and, above all, God. Niebuhr's philosophy remains significant today as we grapple with questions of divine sovereignty and historical relativism. His emphasis on the ever-changing nature of human understanding of God encourages us to approach religious diversity with sensitivity and respect. Additionally, his relational approach to ethics reminds us of the importance of our connections and responsibilities to others and the world around us. In his renowned work, Christ and Culture, H. Richard Niebuhr delves into the complex relationship between Christianity and the world's culture. Throughout the book, Niebuhr provides a historical overview of how Christianity has responded to the influences of culture, presenting five distinct viewpoints. One perspective, known as, Christ against culture, is held by exclusive Christians who perceive history as a narrative of a rising church or Christian culture and a declining pagan civilization. These individuals view themselves as separate from the world, emphasizing the stark contrast between Christian values and worldly influences. On the other hand, the Christ of culture viewpoint is embraced by cultural Christians who see history as the story of the Spirit's encounter with nature. They believe that Christianity can harmonize with and enrich the existing cultural practices and values, finding a way to integrate faith and the world. For synthesists, who adopt the Christ above culture perspective, history is seen as a period of preparation under the guidance of law, reason, gospel, and the church. Their ultimate aim is to achieve a profound communion between the soul and God, viewing the present as a stepping stone towards this ultimate union. In contrast, dualists perceive history as a battleground between faith and unbelief, describing it as a time of struggle between the promise of life and its fulfillment. They hold the belief that faith and the world exist in a paradoxical relationship, constantly grappling with the tension between the two. Lastly, the conversionists, who adhere to the Christ-transforming culture viewpoint, view history as the unfolding narrative of God's mighty deeds and humanity's response to them. They believe that God's presence is not limited to the past or future, but rather, is actively engaged in the present. Conversionists are driven by the potential for divine renewal in the here and now, focusing less on preserving what has been given or preparing for future redemption. Through his exploration of these viewpoints, Niebuhr offers insights into how Christians can navigate the complexities of the world's culture in their daily lives. His work encourages individuals to critically examine their own beliefs and values, and to consider the various ways in which Christianity can engage with and be shaped by the broader cultural context. Do you want to explore more philosophers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.